Hello, I'm Ginko Sequoia and I am author of the book The Tree Mystic. Today I'm going to read an extract from the book on Identities, part one. It's with Solly the Tree Mystic and one of the volunteers, Ling. Ling was parading in front of Solly in a Chinese ceremonial costume that she had made. Solly, I wonder who I really am. You hear people say that they have a strong sense of self. I have never experienced this. I still live in my mother's shadow. Perhaps I need to create a new identity. I suggest that you avoid doing that. Your aim should be to rediscover your authenticity. That is what I'm trying to do. That is why I have made some Chinese robes. Your ethnicity might be Chinese, but your authenticity is not. You must identify yourself as belonging to the whole and focus on finding your true self. You need to peel off that which is obscuring your authenticity, not try and paint something over it. Does this mean that I can't dress creatively? No. Please dress up and have as much fun as you can. However, when it comes to your everyday clothes, know that there is an order. One thing comes before the other. Don't pick a wardrobe to express yourself. It will not work in the way that you want it to. Find out who you are and your clothes and accessories will choose themselves. Immerse yourself in nature, silence and simplicity. This will help take you back to your core. This way, your wardrobe will reflect who you are and your habitat. Then, like the colours and textures of nature, they will always look authentic. It is for this reason that no leaf is the wrong colour and no squirrel is in the wrong tree. That's part one. Um, I'll be back with part two. You can buy the book on Amazon or on thetreemystic.com. Thank you for listening.